Are you really gonna get in your own way and let procrastination, slacking off, get in the way of your dreams? If so, you need to get out of the way and let other people who want your dream life more than you achieve it. Okay, so if you don't want other people to have your dream life, then you need to go get it. Unfortunately, life does have a timer on it. If you're sitting, wasting your time, if you're watching this video and then you close the video, girl, and you don't do anything that I'm saying, you're literally wasting your time because the girls who really wanna achieve it are going to do it. You're meant for something big. You're meant to achieve your dream life. If you're looking around and all you see are stagnant people, people who are doing nothing with their lives, you're in toxic cycles, you keep going back to the same things, even though you know it's not good for you, you're in an environment where you know you feel uncomfortable and you know you cannot achieve your dreams. If you're done with all of the excuses, then this video is for you. You can literally decide in this very moment that you're done with your old life, that was the old you, it's gone, you're ready to move forward and you're ready for your new chapter. You do not have to wait until you get everything together, you don't have to be the perfect person you don't have to have the perfect look you don't have to wait five to ten years to do any of this you can do it right now Hello, I'm Raina and I create content inspiring women to become the best version of themselves. If you enjoyed this video, I have an entire playlist on advice and glow up tips that you will definitely enjoy. So at the end of this video, please check out that playlist because it's literally advice that I wish I knew years ago. The first thing that I want you to do is grab a journal and a pen and I want you to think about the dream woman that you want to become. Whenever I feel that something really resonates with me, whenever I see a woman and I'm like, wow, I feel like I can be like that it's a sign that I am going to get there eventually and that's how you need to view this era you need to view it as not from a state from lack because when you are lacking when you feel that you're lacking that is all energy and you're not going to be able to draw in or attract the things you really want you want to look at it from an abundance mindset in a mindset as in I have not reached that timeline yet I haven't reached that phase in my life yet but today I decide that I am close to it and I am going to get there so grab a journal and a pen and start thinking about all the things that you want to become this really helps with having a super clear vision on who you're going to be I literally did this the other day I just grabbed my journal and I started writing everything that came to my mind who I wanted to be because I am also doing this for myself I feel like I've achieved a lot but I also feel like there are some things that I want to strive for as well I am NOT in my peak I am NOT where I want to be yet so I'm definitely doing Doing this challenge with you guys and I'm going to be your accountability partner because I am right there with you I've noticed in the past when I have visualized my dream life which is where I am now I manifested it so much quicker when I wrote it down I have a journal entry a year right before I made a really big move and a really big change in my life and I wrote down exactly how my life would be a year before it happened plus I put the exact date on it I do recommend being as specific as possible because that is what I did in my journal entry. I printed out pictures of where I wanted to live. I printed out how my apartment style would be. I printed out the type of friends that I would have, the money I would make, and I achieved everything by being so specific. You don't necessarily have to write a date down. I definitely went above and beyond, and I feel like it was such a powerful manifestation. The fact that I was literally able to achieve everything on the date that I wrote down. But like I said, you don't have to do that exact same thing. Just keep in mind that you are writing in a present tense. And that's what I did in my journal entry. I made sure that it wasn't from a lack or a, oh, one day it's gonna happen type of mindset. It was in a, this is me now. I make $500,000 a year. I drive a Mercedes. I have the most handsome, rich, kind, and genuine husband. So instead of saying things like, oh my gosh, I really hope that I marry a genuine person, a loyal person. I really hope that one day I'm able to make $500,000. There's no hoping, there's no wishing, it has happened, right? So be very detailed and always think in the present tense always write it down and just let it sit and you will be surprised a year however long it takes for you to go back in that journal entry how many things happen that you wrote down you need to reflect on your values your passions and your aspirations talk about the type of person you want to be it's not all about the material things you want to have even though that's a very good and important component it's also about who you want to be as a person write down that the love you give out is the love that you receive I have so much humility. I'm very genuine.
genuine. I'm very generous and all of that is given back to me because the universe meets me halfway. And you could also talk about the material things, talk about how much financial abundance you have, talk about how big your investment account is and get as detailed as possible. I'm telling you guys, write down numbers. Write down, I have $500,000 in my investment account. I have $25,000 in my savings account, right? This is so important, I'm telling you. If you wanna lose weight, write down how much weight you're gonna lose, how comfortable you feel in your skin at your desired weight, how healthy it is, how you eat great for your body. If you wanna move to a new country, write down where. Write down that you live in a beautiful country, you're making so many friends, and you attract success. Definitely use vision boards. I get all of my pictures from Pinterest, and I type in whatever I desire, and I grab all of it, I make a collab in Canva. Canva is literally my favorite app to do vision board, you guys. I have my vision board as my phone screen and my laptop screen. I do not play about my dream life. I am very serious about it and you need to be too. When you don't have a clear picture of where you wanna be, you're kind of walking around aimlessly. That's not to say that you need to be super detailed of the entire life that you wanna live, but it's more so about what direction do you wanna take? How are your values and your genuine passions in life going to guide you towards your happily ever after. So if you value love and community and really good friends and a very tight knit family, write that down in your dream journal and you will see everything unfold naturally. It is time to get rid of limiting beliefs immediately, you guys. I'm telling you, this is really gonna halt your manifestation progress. If you find that you're trying to manifest your dream life to become a dream woman and you don't know why it's not happening, you probably have limited beliefs, a toxic mindset or just toxic people around you in general if you don't believe that you can achieve something you won't achieve it everything comes from the mind yes it's not enough to believe it you also have to put in action but if you can't make the first step of feeling like I can do this I'm not talking down on myself I'm talking positively to myself and about my goals then you are not going to be able to achieve it if you're comparing yourself to people and feeling like oh they have so much more than me they look better than me they have more money of course they were able to achieve their dream life you're not doing it right again we want to get rid of all the lack all the lack and sometimes you need to watch what you're consuming because if you're scrolling online you're scrolling on YouTube TikTok, Instagram whatever and you find that you're consuming a lot of drama a lot of toxicity people talking really bad to each other and about each other you need to stop consuming that content because you're internalizing it and it's the same way with your friends if you're around your friends all they do is talk mess about people even though it's not always a negative thing to gossip gossiping can actually bring people closer together but you want to make sure they're not talking negatively about you and genuinely having really harsh and horrible things to say about other people because how people speak about other people when you guys fall off that's how they're going to speak about you. Another thing that could really lead into some toxic and limiting beliefs is some trauma from childhood. It is your duty to try as hard as possible to heal your childhood trauma. But when you know that you have some limiting beliefs and you know you have some toxic cycles and they derive from how your parents treated you, from how your parents spoke to you, there are books and resources that I will literally list down below. You need to make the effort to try to heal as much as possible. What happened to you was not fair. How you were spoken to by your friends, your family, bullies at school, that was not fair, but you should not use that as an excuse to continue to wallow in pain, to continue to perpetuate that pain onto others. That is not fair. So you need to hold yourself accountable and be like, this wasn't right that it happened to me, but I need to not perpetuate this towards myself, towards other people. So I want you to identify what toxic limiting beliefs or toxic mindsets that you find yourself going through. All day, the rest of today or tomorrow, I want you to pay attention to your thoughts. Our thoughts move so freaking fast that sometimes it can be really hard to realize what we're thinking because we're thinking so quickly. But I want you to be intentional the rest of today or tomorrow and make sure you are taking note of your thoughts. 
when you are walking past somebody, are you saying something rude about them in your head? When you see something you don't like online, are you commenting down hate comments? Are you thinking something hateful? What are you thinking about on a day-to-day -day basis? When you see somebody have something you really, really want, do you get envious? Do you get jealous? Do you say to yourself, they don't deserve that? You have no idea what they've done to get that. You have no idea what they've been through. So you need to start taking count of how many negative thoughts you have, how many limiting beliefs that you have, and think about my projection onto others says more about myself than them. Why do I feel like I have to say something hateful towards them? Oh, because I'm saying hateful things to myself. It's time to unravel that and figure out how do I heal this to move forward. One of the best things to do to help to heal this is to listen to positive affirmations. You guys, I literally listen to positive affirmations when I'm doing my skincare, when I'm cleaning. I have a really good playlist that I have on private on my YouTube channel. If you want me to make it public, I can but I do listen to this affirmation. It's all about success. It's all about positivity and love. And I just listen to this either when I'm about to go to sleep, cleaning, or doing my skincare. And it's been so helpful for me. Another thing that really helped me when I was thinking very negatively about myself, when I was very insecure, when I was in a toxic dynamic that made me feel bad about myself, I wrote post-it notes and I just wrote some positive affirmations on my post-it notes and I put it all over my mirror. So every single day that I woke up, I saw it and I read it out loud while I was doing my skincare or I read it in my head every single day that I would look in a mirror. So that's another really good tip. You really need to recognize the signs of toxic relationships. We all fall victim to toxic relationships, whether that's a friend, family, boyfriend, girlfriend. But if you cannot identify toxic people in your life, that means that you are way too conditioned growing up or from past relationship experiences that this is okay. Are you around people that talk down on you? Are you around people that ignore you? People who avoid confrontation, gaslight you, try to manipulate you and try to make it seem like you are in the wrong? Are you around people that constantly ghost you? If you're somebody who's like me and who gives a lot and who is very generous with advice, money, whatever the case may be, sometimes you really have to figure out when to pull back because not everyone deserves that. We do it out of the kindness of our hearts we give advice we give money we give love but if you are not receiving that back then this may not be the best dynamic for you and it's not necessarily that it's a toxic dynamic sometimes you need to be more like what am i getting out of this connection this is a two-way street you are getting something from me but what am i getting from you because it honestly drains me that i am giving you everything but what are you giving to me you need to be more like this it's really going to help you and even though it seems selfish you are doing yourself a disservice of being loyal and generous and giving towards somebody who really does not care about you set boundaries and find supportive communities it is time for you to be okay with blocking unfollowing whatever you need to do to get rid of these toxic people never ghost people okay make sure you're letting people know hey this isn't the best situation for me i appreciate our time together but good luck to become your dream woman, you are going to have to make sacrifices. It hurts, it's hard, but if you want to enter a new phase in your life, some doors have to close for other doors to open. And you can't start a new chapter if you have all this baggage left of your old chapter because what will happen is you're gonna bring those same cycles into your new life and you will be in your new life and you will be like, wow, this is everything that I've dreamt of and I'm so grateful I'm here, but why do I just still feel burdened? Why do I still feel sad? Why am I still repeating some of the cycles? You need to learn how to discard and you need to learn how to move forward. I've definitely had to get rid of some things to move on to a next phase in my life. And even though at the time it was the most difficult thing I've ever done, I'm so grateful that I pushed through that really tough and hard period of my life and I fell into cycles and I told myself one day it's done. I am done going back to the same thing over and over again. I am not moving forward and I cut it out. Every single time in my life that I cut out something that's not serving me, I get 10 times better. I become a better person. I become a more successful person, a more beautiful person. 
every single time. Your dream self needs all of these experiences to become empathetic, grateful, to have humility. You needed to go through this tough time, this shadow period time in your life to come out in the sun. If you are not doing the shadow work, if you're not digging deep on what's wrong in your life, how will you see the sun? How will you enjoy the sun? How will you be grateful? You're going to get all the material things. You're gonna get the car, you're gonna get the house, you're gonna get the husband, everything girl but you need to start inward first. Because if you don't, you're never gonna learn your lesson and you're gonna go back to the same toxic cycles. It is time for you to walk in the right rooms. When I started my journey of becoming my dream self, I told myself I'm going to networking events with people who are more successful than me, with people who know more than me, with people who are older, because they have the things that I want to eventually have. I'm not going into rooms where I feel like they have nothing that I want. They're not passionate about the things that I want. I am going in rooms with success and influence. When I was dating in college, I did the same thing. I was like, I do not want to meet any guy at the club. I don't want to meet any guy at bars. I want to meet guys in good settings, in positive settings, in classes that have to do with my hobbies, in networking events, through genuine friends. So you need to keep in mind the type of people that you want around you and ask yourself if you're going into spaces around these people. At first, I was really intimidated. Don't get me wrong. I was so intimidated to go to events by myself. I moved to a city where I knew nobody. So I was going to events by myself. I didn't know anyone. A lot of times I would walk into the event and it would be five, 10 minutes and nobody spoke to me and I was too nervous to walk up to people and to speak to them. But I broke through my shell and I needed that experience to be like, I don't care, I can speak to anyone. I am confident, nobody can bring me down and going to networking events definitely built my confidence. You need to stop dating people who you don't want your future children or current children to look up to. You need to stop settling for situationships. I mean, a situationship is really not the vibe. Like. If you are somebody who has very high standards with yourself, you're gonna have high standards with dating. You are not going to have a situationship that spans years. You are not going to deal with a guy where it's one-sided, where you like him more than he likes you. You're gonna be on the same page with someone at all times. You are only going to be attracted to high emotional intelligence. You're gonna be attracted to a man who inspires you, a man who's generous and a man who's genuine. Stop settling for friends just because you feel like they're the only people that get you out of the house. There is not a shortage on friends, I promise you guys. Like one friendship ends, another begins. You can manifest any friendship that you want in life. I personally think that it's a lot easier to manifest friends in your life, good and genuine friends, than relationships. You need to make sure that you're making friends with people who are giving to you and you are giving to them in equal ways. You need to make sure that you're not overly paying for things around your friends and they're never picking up the bill. You're not overly giving them advice and they never give you advice. Write down in your journal what type of friends you want around you because your friends really dictate your future. And I really wanna stress this, you guys, make sure you pick the right friends. Your friends will have an influence on you. Be careful of being friends with people who are insecure. I know that sometimes it could seem harsh and it could seem kind of rude, like, oh, not everybody is confident. I'm not saying they have to be the most confident person in the world, but people who are insecure and who have low self-esteem will eventually project that onto you and feel like you are doing something to them that's making them feel like a victim. Creating bonds with people who are in a position that's higher than you, in a position to where they can teach you and you can teach them is just such a beneficial thing. When I was first going to networking events, I felt like an outsider. I felt like I shouldn't be here. Everybody here makes way more money than me. Everyone here has more properties than me. But as I started going over and over again, I feel so comfortable going to networking events. I know so many of the people that go there. I am friends with regulars and I'm so proud of myself for doing that so this needs to be on your to-do list I'm telling you now if you don't have access to a car or you can't go to meetups regularly because of your schedule just start consuming content of people that you want to be similar to if you're on YouTube TikTok Instagram and you see a woman that you're like wow I really want to be like her I love how successful she is I love her business I love how she dresses 
follow her, give her likes, give her positive comments. Start pinning on your Pinterest board women who look like good friends. Start pinning groups of friends together. Start pinning a couple that look super happy together. Start listening to podcasts that talk about how to have healthy love, how to have healthy friendships. Even if it's not in front of you, when you submerge yourself into your dream life in terms of media, it's going to act as if it's already in front of you. Hold yourself accountable so you are not perfect and we know nobody is perfect in this world but you need to make sure that you hold yourself accountable for your actions. Just because you're not perfect doesn't mean you get to slack off. It doesn't mean you get to be toxic. It doesn't mean that you don't apologize. When you procrastinate and when you say you're gonna do something and you don't, think of it as breaking your own trust. To become the dream woman that you wanna become, you have ultimate loyalty to yourself. When you write something down, everything you wrote in your journal or everything you're writing right now, you have loyalty. You're telling yourself, I will not let you down. I will not cheat on you. I will not put you in a horrible relationship. I will not put yourself in a horrible position. You can trust me. Tell yourself that because when you go back on your word, it is disloyalty. You are breaking your own trust. And when you break it enough times, it will be so much harder to heal. If you say you're gonna cut off this person, this situation ship, this guy because he said something mean to you, stick to it. You need to write down exactly why you wanna cut this off. Whenever I had a hard time cutting certain people in my life off, I wrote down exactly why and how they wronged me. And anytime I felt a feeling of wanting to talk to them, girl, I opened my journal, I opened my notes app, and I read that thing out loud and it cured me. If you are ready for a challenge, you definitely need to do my one month challenge that I posted on YouTube. This is something that I literally swear by. I always do one month challenges and you need to give me an update on what you want your one month challenge to be and the type of woman you wanna be outside of it. Prioritizing your physical health is so important because your physical health influences your mental. When I started walking every single day for 30 minutes a day, I felt so much happier. I was in such like a bad mood, depressive mood in my bed as soon as I woke up I would just stay in my bed scroll on my phone girl as soon as I started changing my routine as soon as I told myself no every day I wake up I'm not gonna check my phone I'm gonna do my skincare I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna put on a workout outfit then I'm gonna check my phone and then I'm gonna go for a 30 minute walk and or a yoga session this changed my life. I really underestimated how much exercising really helps you. And you do not have to do anything super extra. You don't have to join a gym and drop 160 for a membership. You don't have to do all these crazy things that exhaust you. Work at your own pace. There are so many girls on YouTube who do really good fitness content that I even do at home. Work with your own body. Work on your diet. How does your dream woman eat? How does she look? What does her body look like? Girl, when I go to yoga class and when I see the girls working out, I'm like, this is my dream body. This is where I need to be because I'm seeing all the girls who have my dream body and they're right in front of me. They have it and I'm going to get it. Watch girls on YouTube who have your dream body. When you learn or master a new skill or hobby, it really boosts your self-esteem and it makes you feel more confident. I remember I got invited from these people from a networking event to do pickleball with them. And at first I was like, girl, what is pickleball? I've only played tennis. I have no idea what this is. So internally, I kind of felt insecure. I had a limiting belief. I felt like, well, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to play this sport. I'm not gonna be good at it. But I sucked it up and I went and I learned and I had such a good time and I'm so glad that I went and I'm definitely going to go again because I really enjoyed it. Get out of your comfort zone. When you're stuck in your comfort zone, do you think that your dream self is there? No, she is not sitting there. She's not scared to do new things. She's not scared to embarrass herself. She's completely fine with trying new things and failing and then failing enough times to succeed. Building new hobbies and skills will also help you manifest the right friends in your life, the right relationships in your life, because having people who have similar hobbies and skills is such a beautiful thing and they could lead you to your dream life. Your dream self is not in her comfort zone. She is not scared to adapt to new environments. She feels comfortable with change. She feels comfortable being in places where she doesn't know people, where she's learning new things. 
Having a good personal style and enhancing your beauty with makeup and skincare is so important. Your dream self has some of the standard things, right? She has beautiful skin, she has clear skin, she has healthy hair that she loves, she takes care of her body, she does her body care regularly. Your dream self is not slacking, she's not ignoring her skincare every single day, she's not neglecting to brush her teeth every single day for a week, she doesn't act like that, right? So why are you acting like this? This is something you can easily access, this is something you could do right now with zero dollars if you have all of the products. Be consistent with your routine. When you are consistent with your routine, you are developing discipline. To get to where you need to go and to get to where you're going to go, you need to develop discipline and consistency. You don't have to buy a totally new wardrobe to be your dream girl. You can find what you have in your wardrobe right now and learn how to make it cuter, learn how to wear it different, learn how to style it. Right now, you are building towards your dream life. You're building towards your new future. And while doing this, you're making a whole bunch of money. You're saving a whole bunch of money to get your dream wardrobe but in the meantime we are creating our dream wardrobe with what we have right now make sure you're always practicing gratitude while you're committing to your new life if you don't have gratitude you will never be able to manifest anything in your life i don't care what people tell you you need to be extremely grateful be grateful that everything happens for a reason the negative things in your life happen for a reason there is a bigger reason you do not know there is something you're being protected from there is something that you need to end to get to a new chapter there is a lesson in every experience even if it's a really deep shadow period and even if it stumped your security and it made you feel like you're not able to access better, you will access better and you are on your way to. Each day, I want you to have a five minute gratitude moment with yourself, whether that's journaling, writing it down, or you sitting in meditation and just feeling grateful of the little things. You have water, you have food, you have internet, obviously. There are so many people in horrible situations that will never be able to truly manifest in their lives. And it's a very sad situation. You need to be grateful that you have this access. Not everybody does. You also need to be grateful that there are some people that let things halt them. There are some people that have all the potential and for some reason, they're not pushing themselves. They are halting themselves. They're halting their progress, but you are choosing not to. Be grateful for that. You are serious about your journey. You are serious about becoming a new and improved version of yourself. You forgive your past self for making mistakes, for doing the wrong things, for falling into toxic cycles, but after you've forgiven yourself, now you're moving on. So spend a few minutes every single week going through this and going through your gratitude. This is really going to give you the strength through this time. Even if you are in the worst of it, your dream self can still manifest. You could change your life. Your mind is so powerful. You can manifest anything that you want and you are going to become her. You're going to become your dream woman. Sometimes it can be really hard to remember to keep track of little victories. I remember when I started achieving a lot of the things I wrote down, I became comfortable in it and I didn't take a moment to really think about it. Wow, I'm here. I wrote all of this down. This is crazy. I need to be more grateful. It is so easy to forget that you used to beg and cry for where you are today. Celebrate your small victories. You made five more dollars today. You, you didn't have one negative thought about yourself today. I don't care what it is. You need to be grateful for it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the playlist that I told you about in the beginning about all the advice and glow up tips that I gave on this channel already. I have some really good videos on there for you to help to improve your appearance and your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.